How's it going, guys? Dre here, and... Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know if I could actually do that. Why were the police called? I was the one who got hit, and I... What? Can I get an explanation? What, 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 what is the crime right now? Denting the front of a car, because he hit me, man. He hit me. Okay, we're starting off strong today. Well, let's retry that again. Welcome back to Thief Simulator, ladies and gentlemen. Today is going to be a big day, because we got one more big mansion to get into, and it's this one right here with this little fellow out front. Now, uh, I'm going to try and get as much routines as possible, see if we can get some intel on this place, and then hit it up. We actually got a quest we have to do here to replace a painting with a replica, but I believe that actually makes you beat the game, so we probably won't do that right away, but um, yeah, let's see how hard that is to get in here. We actually do have a climbable fence over here. I don't want to climb it in case I do get stuck back there. Right now, I'm just trying to get intel. We're going to sit on the outside today, See if we can see through these windows and uh, gain as much knowledge as we can. Actually, hey, 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 I think. Come on. Just gonna jump a little bit higher. Oh, it's so close. I feel like if we get lucky, we could definitely jump on this and utilize this to get inside. Which might be extremely useful. Actually, it looks like we maybe... Ooh, man, this rock. It's just out of my range, I think. Crouching in a weird place. Mind your damn business! I, I love my rock. Don't look at me like that. Police are going to be notified that there's a weird guy humping rocks in the park. There we go! See? This is what I was trying to do. Okay, so now that I'm up here, do I want to go in? Should I risk it? Yeah, you know what? That took forever to get on top of this rock. We're getting in here. Oh, God, he heard me. I didn't realize you're, like, literally right there. Uh, all right, I would like to get some intel on him, actually. There we go, there we go, there we go. Tenant routine discovered. So, yeah, looks like, obviously, there's... Freeze! Oh. Come on! Just randomly decides to look behind him in that little crack that he can see me. He sees my little head. I don't believe it, man. These guys are like Hawkeyes, man. All right, but that's the main reason I didn't really want to go inside. Chances are we're going to be caught a lot here. This is the hardest house. It's got at least three guards that I know of. Actually, it looks like, yeah, there's a three. There's three total. So I think it's just guards in this house, uh, which is a little scary because obviously those are the guys that are weaponized and uh, they can make me freeze right away. So yeah, we got the entrance here. That's obviously not going to be a way we want to get in, but I actually... Man, I just want to see if I can get out again. Okay, I can get out again, so this might be great for getting intel. I can just kind of hang out in the garden over here. But yeah, this house is no joke, man. This is like three houses in one. I mean, it just keeps going on and on. So we know there's going to be a lot inside, and if we can get the intel and constantly see where these uh, guards are, we should be able to uh, do quite well here. Oh. Whoa, I didn't notice this. So, yeah, I'm still gaining intel. We got the majority of the day, but look at this. Look, at, I, I can totally scope out this place from up here. I mean, this isn't obvious. I'm just going to have binoculars out up here. All right, let's not be obvious at all. So, this is actually kind of cool because we should be able to kind of see inside as well. Well, we know where we need to go. We have the paintings over here. Like I said, we're not really going to target that, though. It looks like... For the second floor, they don't have the uh, window shutters like the first floor. So if we can figure out a way to climb up, that would be great. I'm going to interact with that. Um, oh, I just need to confirm it. And we already got the information on that guy, so that's good. This is really cool, though. I like that we can kind of see what's going on inside here. Okay, we got the intel, guys. So we know, as per usual, they're always home in these mansions. So we got to deal with them being always around. But at least now we get their little outline so we can see where they are at all times. Now, let me actually check as well. Is there anybody ever in the inside? So, yes, we do got a guy that goes inside the hall and pretty much hangs out in there all the time. And then he's at the front of the garage. This other guy back of the house, front of the house, side of the house. So outside... Uh, front of the house, car gate, uh, and then he pretty much hangs out at the car gate in front of the house the whole time. So we only have to worry about one guy inside, and there's only one that goes to the back of the house as well. This guy right here who hangs out on the side of the house. So I'm thinking that rock was actually a really good idea. Hard to get on top of it, but if we can get in from this side, we don't have to deal with the other two guards. The hard part's going to be obviously leaving, because I have limited intel on what the best way to get out is. All right, so the rock wasn't actually that bad either, so we should, you know what, let's just go. Let's go for it. Uh, he's inside right now. Uh, so this looks like to be the hall, obviously. So if we can get in over, is this the whole thing the hall though? Oh, don't look at me. Oh man, he, he got red there. 
Um, we also got a camera over here, so I should have tried to find as many of those cameras as possible. But I'm thinking... Oh, this is a... This is a weird lock for a mansion, man. One thing I wish you could get in this game is, like, house blueprints, so you can see how the inside of the house looks like. Because right now, I don't know if this giant... Ooh, yeah. Okay, yep, 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 yep. This giant... This is a very open concept house. <gasps> okay. Oh, God, he's outside. Is he outside? No, I don't think he is. Okay, I have to get somewhere safe here. Let's go over here. Hey, we're in the garage. This is nice. Nobody goes in the garage, so this could be our safe haven for right now. And look at that! We got a trombone! Holy crap, another trombone. How many trombones do you need in one house? I mean, if you're this rich, it doesn't really matter. What What's going on here? Why is there a propane tank underneath a seat? So right now, he's gonna pretty much hang out in the hall all the way till 11 p.m. Then he's at the front of the garage, so he must go out around... Oh, God. I just want to see... It's hard to tell which one's which. Yeah, this guy looks to be the one that's in the in on the inside. What are we working with here? Oh, this is the window security panel. So I actually don't want to touch that because I would like it to turn on. Um, that way I don't have to worry about the outside guard seeing me when I sneak around at night. So we won't touch that. Uh, what is this for? Garage door switch. So yeah, that's how to open the garage. So we could, if we get lucky, pull in our car here, but... I don't, I, don't, I don't think that would be a good idea. All right, so what I'm going to do, I want to get some more intel right now. If I get caught, I get caught. We're going to have to sit in here till 12 a.m. if I did want to wait until he gets outside. I want to see if I can maybe get upstairs from over here somewhere. Oh, they still have the Christmas trees out. We can steal all the presents if we want to. All right, so he walks over there. I just got to watch out for the windows here. Ooh, nice golden clock here. I'm worried, though, he's going to come this way. So we got giant gifts here. You know what? Let's bring this... To the- oh god, to the garage. Is that guy inside? No, this other guy's inside. I, I, I gotta go quick! I gotta go quick! Come on! Okay, I, I don't think we got seen, so there we go. We got a present. If we do want to bring the van in here, that's gonna be a freaking task and a half, though. Uh, I'm really curious about those big presents, though. Okay, I'm gonna try and get a little further down this hallway here, just to see if I can find a damn staircase. Because, yeah, this is just- what a weird house! It's just all one big room. So it looks like- Oh, oh, I'm going. Freeze! Come on! You turned around at the worst time. I was just gonna try and get upstairs as quickly as possible. Maybe I shouldn't have sprinted. Alright, so we're back at my favorite rock. I feel like this is still the best option to get inside. I looked at the front and there's really no access points. There's really always a guard around. So I feel like this is the option. The hard part, again, is gonna be leaving with this stuff because we don't have this uh, usefulness here. Anyways, this guy's not worried about me right now because I'm not inside. But yeah, I'm here at a better time tonight. We're It's 10 p.m. right now. Once this guy moves, I'm going to try and get inside. And if you remember, the guy on the inside is going to come out at 11 p.m. That's when we got to get to the second floor. Oh, man. I didn't think about him coming to the backyard, though. Um, hmm. Freeze! What? What did I do? I'm literally standing on a rock. God damn, this is cruel and unusual punishment today. Oh, did I do it? That was some sneaky stuff right there. I gotta move quick, though, because we gotta get inside before this guy does anything crazy. I hope he doesn't come out the back door. I'm assuming, being that he goes to the front of the garage, he would be using the front of the house. So we should be okay to get inside now. Just gotta worry about this guy that's behind. He's actually really far away, so let's take our time here. And do it right. He's gonna pull back. Once he's around this corner, I'm good to go. And now we wait inside the garage until 11 p.m., which it basically is right now. This was perfect. Okay, got lucky on that run. Once again, steal my trombone. I mean, it's 600 bucks. We may as well grab them because uh, who knows how successful the upstairs is going to be. I'm actually kind of surprised with how open this house is. I haven't seen a lot of high-income stuff. So, all right, this guy should be going to the front now, right? Let me actually just confirm again. Yeah, he goes from the hall to the front of the garage now. So this is where I'm kind of curious. Does he go through the garage? Hopefully not. I'm assuming he goes to the front door. All right, I think he's actually... Is he inside right now? Oh, God. Is he inside? No, he isn't. Okay, let's get the hell to the top floor as quickly as we can. And we'll figure out how the hell we're going to get away from here later on. Okay, this is good. This is good. Whew, that was a very small window of us to get up here. And now we can take our time. We can relax. We shouldn't have to worry about anybody up here. I probably shouldn't have grabbed those. Only 69 bucks. Oh, crap. 
I'm being so loud. I, I shouldn't get too cocky. All right, globe. Oh, we have a $2,000 watch there. I'll take that. That's what I like, the nice light items that are worth a crap load of money, and we should have lots of those in here, hopefully. Salt and pepper shakers with shoes. That makes a lot of sense. And then we got utensils, like utensils in a bedroom. That, what? <laughs> okay, let's keep moving here. This is actually extremely open as well, so... I'm actually surprised at how open this whole area is. So we got two rooms up here, and one of them being a bathroom. There's really not going to be anything in here, so... Oh, actually, we have a whole other hallway on the other side. Okay, so that makes a lot more sense. Let's get to that hallway before this place gets occupied again. All right, this is what I was looking for. So now we have all these rooms here. What the hell? Okay, so that's not a room, but we obviously have access to rooms, as you can see. That's the biggest kid's room I've ever seen. And now we have places to hide if we do get caught as well, so this is obviously really good to have. Now let's look around and find all the good stuff. Oh, is that a Rolex? Yeah, we got a silver, an $1,800 watch in the kid's room. You know these people are loaded if they're giving their kids $1,800 watches. All right, so yeah, maybe we should check the bathrooms as well. I mean, who knows where money could be in this house because it's probably everywhere. All right, so we're gonna clean up the bank a little bit. We got a $69 guitar, not worth it. We might even get rid of those trombones because that's a lot of weight. Is there anything else that's extremely heavy? Not really, the watch is obviously not worth it to get rid of them, so we might have to get rid of those trombones. But for right now, the guitar is fine. Let's try and fill up the rest of this inventory and then worry about it then. And I'm only going for the prime stuff. I mean, we got a $100 keyboard here. That's not good enough for me anymore. I I've evolved. I'm a much better thief now, so we may as well only look for basically the really expensive items. Uh, if we can find a safe in here, there's probably going to be lots of watches in that. So we have to find the master bedroom, which I'm assuming is down the road or down the hallway a little bit. What the hell is that? Green vase? Not worth it. The you? Oh, that was loud. Uh, all right. Thankfully, nobody's really close to me. We got the U-pad tablet. We're gonna grab that. And what the hell was that thing? Is that just a pen? Is that something I can't steal? It didn't look like I could steal it. Can we steal the clock? Man, that that, that would be great if we could steal the big items like that. What is this thing? Is this art? Like I have no idea what I'm looking at. All right, continue down, though. Is that worth a lot of money? $8. Nope. What the hell is up with these very... Ooh, this is a locked room. But what the hell is up with these very rich mansions with really bad paintings? I'm actually surprised with how cheap the paintings are in this game for the most part. Okay, this is where the good stuff is. So, yes, we have the actual painting here now. I'm not going to take that yet. It's worth a lot of money, though. Ooh, a Fabergé egg? Yeah, it's a replica, but still worth a lot of money. And I'm assuming this wine's pretty expensive. Never mind. God damn, dude. You drink cheap. All right, so far it's been pretty uh, relaxed in this locked room. I'm just waiting for a, like a, a drawer full of Rolexes or something. That, that That's what I need right now. Yeah, I, it's really only that this painting in there. $49 clock. Four, $49, the one downstairs with a thousand something. Jesus. A piggy bank. An actual piggy bank. Can I break it? I... I, I, I would do it, but I'm worried they'll hear me, so let's just take the piggy bank. Okay, it's got to be in here. He's got to have all his expensive stuff. Can't even... Okay, you can open this one. That makes a lot of sense, right? <laughs> oh, but you can't open the side drawer, so we can take the iMac. It's so heavy, though. It's not worth it. Okay, filing cabinet. Come on, filing cabinet. Don't fail me. All right, we do have a cell phone in there. Let me try and grab that. Damaged you phone. Don't think that's really worth it, but hey, we'll keep it for right now. We'll organize later. So that's it. Was there something in there? Okay, a mouse. A freaking mouse? A $25 mouse? Why the hell did you lock this room? Just for the one painting? That is, is that the only thing that's worth anything in this house? All right, come on, hallway. Don't fail me. We, we got one more to do. Ooh, that light turned on. So he's obviously inside. I don't think he comes upstairs, though. Ooh, this is definitely master bedroom territory. Uh, maybe, well, I mean, may, maybe they like a really small double bed. I have no idea, but I thought it'd be a little more luxurious, you know? All right, starting off good, though. We got a solid gold watch, or, sorry, a silver gold watch. So that's what I'm looking for, man, the watches. And uh, they should be in the master bedroom. A hat, great. Dude's just got a xylophone down here. Just, just you know, playing the xylophone in bed or something. <laughs> no idea. Sometimes the layout of these things are great. And he's got flashlights just in case, you know, he gets robbed or something. That's actually a pretty expensive lamp, but not worth it for how heavy it will be. We got a Wender electric guitar. Not worth it once again, and nothing inside there. So really, where are the safes at, man? What is this? Ooh, electronic security panel. 
Hey, I can turn off the cameras at least. Let's do this right, though. So there's one battery. Let's make sure that one connects to that. So it's a good thing I didn't press that. We're doing blue. And it looks like green, and that's it. Yeah, we turned it off. Okay, didn't screw that up at least. And now we don't have to worry about that. Actually, we can get on the roof from here. We're actually a full inventory right now. It might make sense to get the hell out of here. I was really hoping to find the safe, though. Maybe there isn't a safe in this house, though. Not all of them have safes, after all. This is the car gate switch. I guess we could turn that on. We alarmed him. We opened the gate. So if we do need to run down that, we at least can. Uh, that's not going to be the way I want to do this, though. I would like to get to this side. Jumping out of this window actually might be a great idea. Because then, well, actually, we can see right over here, too, when they're going to be outside. He's outside right now. This guy patrols back and forth on this little runway here. Yeah, I think this is a good spot to leave when we do want to. And if we can just get over to here where our exit point is, we should be golden. Hard part is we have this ledge here. There's no easy way to get above that ledge. So we have to walk around it. That's going to be really difficult with all these guys around. All right, you know what? Screw it. I'm going out. And, oh god, we're gonna try and figure out something from here. So, I know I'm safe right here, until the uh, garage guy comes back. Ooh, this could be interesting, because this guy's gonna start patrolling back. This is what I gotta worry about, is these two right here. And then this guy, if this guy starts walking back, I am screwed. <gasps> oh god, don't see me through that statue. Sometimes they can see you through items, sometimes they can't. Looks like this time we're good. I gotta figure out if I can... Ooh, I just gotta... Go inside, please! Thank you. Thank you for listening. Okay, I just gotta see what we're working with over here. So, he's walking back down, but yes, this is what I need. It's something like this. All right, let's take our time. He's not coming all the way down anyways. Problem is, this is an extremely open part of the walkway. I gotta... Ooh, <gasps> how the freak... Just don't move. Just don't move. Wait for that exclamation mark to go, to go away. This guy doesn't see me. What are you seeing from me? Did he... Is maybe something I did? I do have to worry about that as well. Oh my god. Why are you still red? So he's obviously concerned about something. I'm going. I'm going. Okay. So now we're here. I gotta go. I gotta... Oh crap, this is the wrong way. Okay. Up through here. We're okay. I don't know why that guy's still red. It's extremely concerning. Is this a whole wall? Okay, this is a whole wall. Thank God, I think I made it. Oh, man, that was a butt-clenching home. I don't like this one at all, man. But God damn it, I stealth left, and that feels really good with something as dangerous as that. Now, let's wait for pedestrians. Actually, it looks like we're good. Ah, all right, there we go. We got a full inventory of stuff, and we figured out at least a little bit of the very elusive 208. That feels amazing. That feels really good when you go into the hardest house in the game and you get an S exclamation. That's the best score you can get. Nobody saw me and I did it perfectly. Ah, all right, I don't even remember what we got. Uh, yeah, we did get one U-pad, so we unlocked that. Let's actually check. It's been a while since we checked the uh, black bay, so. Wonder if we can sell anything here. We got, we've only got two of the Fabergé eggs. We gotta get all of those things. And that's something else I wanna do, by the way, is get everything for Black Bay. Uh, I'm not sure if we get anything for that, but there's still cars we haven't gotten, so obviously there's a lot of profit out there that we can still get. Oh, hey, look, we needed a keyboard. We got that done. Still a few random things in the kitchen stuff. People wanted a trombone. Good thing we picked that up. And look at all these gifts. We really do have to invade Christmas one day. It's weird that they're still celebrating Christmas in Thief Simulator, but hey, if they want to, they can. And Antique Pot. Oh, I, I was thinking of other pot. I was like, who wants to smoke that? That'd be weird. But yeah, we still got a few antiques we got to get as well, so there's still a lot we need to do. But uh, yeah, we have earned a lot of money and done really well for ourselves so far. All right, let's go. Do we have any? No, we didn't get anything. We just got watches and that's it. So let's head over to our pawn bro, the uh, guy who has limitless pockets, it seems like, and uh, see how much back. we can uh, get today. All right, we got another trombone. There we go, $2,000 watch, $1,800 watch, the Fabergé egg replica. He doesn't want that because it's a replica, so we'll have to keep those until we get the whole collection. We didn't do amazing today, I gotta be honest. I mean, 
considering that's the biggest house ever, a 10 grand pull, not what I totally expected, but it was a challenge and a very fun one at that. So yeah, we're gonna wrap up this one here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Thief Simulator getting in the final home that we haven't gotten into. Next episode, we'll probably try and invade all the smaller homes, get a lot of the Black Bay done, and yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on what you guys want to see, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.